but there's also there's also stuff like confirmation bias. As soon as I think I learned about confirmation bias and like group thinking, um, a lot of stuff I couldn't I couldn't separate it from like could this be confirmation bias? Could this just be group thinking? Um, uh, yeah, especially like with prayer and confirmation bias, that's really tough because um, and like 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 hearing God and communicating with Him back and forth, like it. Once you kind of understand how complicated and beautifully complex our own brains are, a lot of that stuff gets pretty murky. Um, yeah, and I can't. Like I used to, one of the things that kept me within Christianity was my experiences of hearing God and like, okay, every, like all this evidence is going against Christianity, but I still had that experience. Like I still, I still heard from God that one night that I can remember. Um, and, and then that's kind of when psychology came into play and I'm like, could that could God have been just a deep part of me that loved me and accepted me? And I think yeah. as soon as that was an option of like, okay, those experiences were real. They just were different than what I thought they were at the time. 